I'm Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com coming at you with another seven box all-star mixer. This is random team break number two. At the very end will be a completely separate randomizer of this video. I'm giving away a Steiner box, which should be pretty exciting. Um, a lot of good stuff being pulled out of there. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. Now, not only, not only can you win a Steiner box, we can just get some nice hits out of this mixer as well. So it's, uh, it's a double boom. All teams are in. It's a random team break. We're going to randomize each list, those two lists. Uh, ten times, six and a four. Good luck names. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten times, big boy is 007 on top. Kurt in the number 30 spot. And after ten times will be the teams. All teams are in. One, two, three, four, five. Six, 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 there's six, seven, eight, nine, got it, and ten. There we go. Uh, after ten times, White Sox on top, Braves on the bottom. And here's how it all shakes out. Increase the font a little bit for you. So Big Boys, 007 with the White Sox. Steve G., you got the Tampa Bay Rays, Robert with the Giants, Darren, you got the Padres, uh, Michael Earl with the Mets, Jacob Hill, Indians, Michael G, Rangers, Kurt with the Phillies, Mike Cody with the Marlins, Kip Kip Hooray with the Blue Jays, Jacob Hill, Rockies, Adam K, Mariners, Kurt, Diamondbacks and Pirates, Chris with the A's, Lee with the Royals, Kurt with the Red Sox, Rich with the Reds, Alan Murdoch, Last Spot Mojo, and Dodger Joe Mojo with the Dodgers, Adam K, Orioles, Kurt, Cardinals and Tigers, Virgil with the Yankees. Jaime with the Angels, David O with the Nationals, Chris fins up with the Cubs, Kurt with the Astros, Dave with the Twins, Chris with the Brewers, and Kurt with the Braves. So there you go, folks. Let me alphabetize this by column B by team. Let me print this out. I got that mojo. What's going on? Let's print this out. And I don't think there's going to be any trades. At least I don't see any at the moment. We may just have to just go in the... In the spirit of uh, in the spirit of breaking, we do have another version of this in the store. Jaspieshobbyland.com. If you look right here, there you go. Twenty nine spots left on that one. That's the last version we have. We I don't think we I think we ran out of TriStar Odyssey, so we can do one more of this particular version. Looks like the basketball mixer on jazbeeshobbyland.com is closed and looks like the uh, football mixer where we're giving away two Steiner boxes are uh, are close to uh, it's close to single digits. And we could probably knock out some flawless football tonight as well. That would be nice. All right, I don't think there's any trades. Yeah, hey, I'm down with that flawless too. Unfortunately, Ziggy, we don't have anything else Excalibur-wise besides that $10 break. All right, trade window closed. I think we only had one case of that, and we just popped it open for that mixer. Okay, I'll leave the keyboard here. I don't think I'll need... Maybe I'll need the keyboard. I'll, I'll leave it here just in case. Trade window closed. Here's the official printout right there. So we'll re-randomize all these names with a different dice roll at the very end. Randomize the number of the Steiner box and see who gets that bonus prize, that big bonus hit at the end. We will go in chronological order. We'll start oldest to newest. We'll start with 2015. A lot of great stuff in this 2015 set. Were you supposed to be in this one, Will? Uh-oh. Uh, no, Will, I see you in the first one, my friend. This is break two. You are in break number one. I have an order for that, unless you tried to place an order for break number two. I, d I don't have that, though. Here, I'll drop in the chat the video for break number one. Yep, that's the order I'm looking at, too. That is break number... You were, With the Falcons order, you were in break number one. This is... Yeah, we're already on number two. No, it's all good. It's good to double check. We're already on break number two, believe it or not. 
So we, we've been flying through these. All right, so once again, this is 2015 Bowman Baseball, Asia edition. It's pretty much the same checklist, but they add some extra stuff in there. Remember, uh, paper base doesn't ship. Base cards, I think vet base doesn't ship. But all the inserts and obviously all the hits will ship. So anything that's numbered, anything that's a parallel, anything that's just, anything that's not common. All the common cards, veteran common cards probably won't go. All the important stuff will go, obviously. People always ask, what do you do with that vet base? They get donated to the uh, Boys and Girls Club of America, America. We usually donate those. Over the years, we found that, you know, a majority of people are not interested in the... And, and it saves time, too, just in our own shipping process as well. Helps us get the, the hits to you much more quickly. And we've discovered that's what that's what the people want mostly. Their hits to them faster. Like I said, we have another version of this on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com, so be sure to check that out. That will be our last seven box version of this in this particular configuration. A pretty fun way to get big hits. And a pretty fun way to chase a Steiner memorabilia box as curated by Jaspie's Hobbyland. So we picked those we picked the Steiner boxes. They just packed them and shipped them to us. And they get passed on to you. All right, good luck. Here we go. Box number one of seven, starting off with Zach Wheeler. So I don't think these are numbered, so I'll just be flying by those, but they will ship. Alex Meyer, I thought that would be numbered too. That will ship as well, but not numbered. These minis are really cool. It's Tyrone Taylor. Stuff like this will ship. This guy almost uh, threw a no-hitter the other day, right? So did Kershaw. They both took no-hitters kind of deep. Nice Dilson Herrera. I, I like these uh, top 100. There's D's brother, Nick, Tom's kid. And there's Brad Ziegler, purple paper. 197, 179 out of 250. And that parallel goes to the Diamondbacks and Kurt. It's cool to see some of the rookies in here that are already starting to play regularly in the majors. It's kind of cool to see that process. And look at this, Carlos Rodon. Nice on-card auto, Carlos Rodon. Refractor as well, 274 out of 499. That's nice. Tim Anderson as well. Both of those are for the White Sox. That'll go to Big Boys, 007. Nice. Nice one, Dave. There's David Dahl, another David. Michael Conforto Mini. Alex Meyer. There's gray paper, Aaron Sanchez, 243 out of 499. For the Blue Jays, that'll go to Kip Kip Hooray. David Dahl. Just trying to see if there's any low numbered cards here. I think there's only just one autograph per box.
I think there's also like Aaron Judge cards tucked away in here somewhere. That's also kind of what I'm, I'm trying to carefully look for. I know pretty much any of his cards are hot commodities. Rafael Devers, 192 out of 250. It's a nice little mini there for the Red Sox. Kurt with the Bo Sox. Gary Sanchez, Gary Sanchez again. Kevin Ziomek Mini. Those will ship. And Greg Bird down there. All right, nice. That was box one. So that was 2015. Let's move into 2016 right here. We're going to start with Topps Chrome Baseball. We're looking for two autographs per box on this guy. Good luck, everyone. jazbeeshobbyland.com is the place to be. Got football, basketball, baseball breaks. We got one more of these seven box mixers and another chance for you to win a Steiner sports memorabilia uh, box. Still a lot of boxes left. So should be, uh, should be pretty exciting to see who's gonna win one of these boxes at the end of the break and what they're gonna get. So currently there are three breaks where you can try to uh, chase after a Steiner Jaspies memorabilia box. This break, there's another one of those on the site, jaspieshobbyland.com. We've got a football mixer on the site. There's two people that are going to win. And then we have a three-box playbook break. You can win one in there as well. All right, good luck everyone, here we go. And Kettle Marte is your first autograph. Nice, Mariners. That'll go to Seattle Adam K with the Mariners. Future stars Mikhail Franco, 30 out of 99 for the Phillies. That'll be for Kurt. Chris needs some cubbies. We'll see. We'll try to see if there's any cubbies in there. Mark Teixeira. Ryan Howard. Kenta Maeda. Steven Matz. And Max Kepler. Purple on-card autograph. That's 106 out of 250 for the Twins. And that will go to Big Boys 007. Buster Posey. Let's see if there's any lower numbered parallels here. Rizzo Prism. No, nope, doesn't look like it. There's no more Bizarro right there. That was so that was 2016. Alright, so two nice autographs for the twins and the mariners. All right, we'll stay in the realm of 2016. We'll pop open some of that high tech. I 
We start off with nice the babe. Zach Granke, Masahiro Tanaka, Carlos Correa. I believe that's some sort of short print. Astros, Kurt, and your autograph, Henry Owens. I think Clouds Diffractor, something like that. Red Sox, Kurt, with that one, and Big Mac Cardinals Edition, fourteen out of sixty. Gold parallel for Kurt and the Cardinals. Another Babe Ruth back here too. Nice. All right, now we're going to shift into the world of 2017. So now we are we are back to the future, to the past from the future, or back to the future. And that one missed. And start with 2017 Bowman baseball. A lot of great stuff in here. One autograph per box on average, the usual. Then we'll pop open some Diamond Kings, and then we'll see what's in those uh, TriStar boxes. So once again, jazbeeshobbyland.com if you want to get into more breaks tonight. We've got plenty of time. A lot of people have been getting into breaks early and often. I see about, what, 10 orders in my inbox right now. I, Ziggy, I think you should be, Ziggy's asking, can I donate your base to, yeah, I would contact your local Girls and Boys Club of America chapter. I don't know if this is a nationwide program or if this is a regional program, but, but all I know is that there's going to be a, uh, all I know is that they're going to be, that that's where we send them to. Hmm. Someone let, someone let Ziggy know that he may be lagging behind. He just told everybody good luck that he's calling a Bryant and Judge in this break, but we're almost at the end of this break. Someone let Ziggy know that he might be lagging, that he needs to be, make sure he's live. Looks like he was answering that question from the base cards from early in this break, too. that going all right good luck everyone david ortiz leading us off and we got lourdes Gurriel jr out of 25 nice 12 out of 25 uh that goes to the blue jays of course is that i think that goes to kit by the way i think that's ulisky's brother or cousin or something like that tyler stevenson purple paper 236 out of 250. Thank you, Tim. That goes to the Reds. That'll be for Rich. Oh, so Ziggy, you are current? It's, it's, it sounded like you were, you were behind. We're like almost at the end of the break and you were saying good luck. Got the buyback right here. Nice. Corey DeHaan. I think that's just a facsimile autograph. Yeah. 
It's a buyback though for the Padres. Uh, Tim, are we gonna are we gonna see you at the National in a few weeks? You're gonna make the drive down, come say hello to us. Nice Aaron Judge. We'll set those aside. Those base cards still might have a little more value than expected. You still hope so? Nice. Well, we hope so too. We'd we'd like to uh, we'd like to finally meet in person. That'd be nice. I think King D's gonna be there. Rory's coming down. Or coming up, I guess he's. He's from uh, Houston. Yeah, Ziggy, what's up? There's our autograph, Anderson Espinoza. Nice. Padres, that goes to Darren McKenzie with the Padres. AJ Puckett, that's a refractor. 106 out of 499. That would be for the Royals. That goes to Lee. Uh, when is Judge rookie year? Ziggy's asking. You have 2013 autos and 2017. Uh, yeah, Tim has been wondering the same thing too. I think technically. This is his rookie year because it's his first year in the majors, but his first autograph would be 2013. If that make does that make sense? Andy Abanez for the Rangers. That's two out of 25. Nice orange paper for uh, Michael G and the Rangers. But as, but as to what's what is worth more? I would imagine that the first ones he ever did are worth more, right? I think Rich is saying that the 13s are worth more. That, that, that would be my assumption as well, since they're his most earliest ones. All right. So that was, let me just sleeve up some of these cards right here. So Ziggy saying you heard about the fourteen thousand dollar judge card on eBay. Was it thirteen or seventeen? Rich says thirteen. Yeah, Michael G also saying that Tops is recognizing this year as his first official RC rookie cards. Right. The thirteen are just his sort of prospect cards, you know. But since they're his like earliest versions of his autograph, I think that's why those may carry a great deal of. Uh, value comparatively. All right, it's 2017 Diamond Kings baseball. We are almost there. And then we're going to see who gets a Steiner box, which will be exciting. I love those things. Love them. More chances to win them on jazbeeshobbyland.com, so check it out. Yes, it has been a while, Michael G. Hello. It was nice to see your name come across the desk, come across the order desk. Hope all is well. We are preparing for Chicago in a couple weeks, two, two and a half weeks or something like that. So we're excited about that. So it'll, it'll start to get very, very busy for all of us here at Jaspies. And we were having, we're chugging along on the Saturday too. We were having a very nice Saturday as well. I think we've pretty much been doing breaks nonstop. So keep the momentum going, ladies and gentlemen, jaspieshobbyland.com. Keep it going. All right. Yeah. Why? Why isn't Anderson Espinosa not playing anytime soon, Rich? It's like you would think, like, hey, Padres, you're not going anywhere. Just throw the young guys out there. See what they have. 
All right. Uh, the, yes, this is the Mixer Lee. You have the Royals. I think we got um, a refractor for you, but nothing huge relic or ink wise yet. The Dansby Swanson, possible. I think those are variations. That's where they're flipped around like that. Kirby Puckett. Oh, he's still on the DL? Oh, I see. Padres kind of have an oddly good young team. There's Trey Turner, 45 out of 9, even after trading guys like him. That'll go to the Nationals, David O. You got Hunter Renfro, Yangaver Solarte. They have Manny Margot. Um, there's Carlos Correa. Nice. Oh, some nice color there. Not numbered? Not numbered, but there it is. That is for the Astros. That'll go to Kurt. But yeah, Padres have an interesting young team. That could be sneaky good. Like in a number of years, but they could put it together. Will Myers anchoring that lineup too. Yeah, it did. We're on our second to third to last box. These Odysseys are the only ones left. Jeff Hoffman. Nice. Rockies edition. Six out of 49. This is actually not bad at all. Rockies. That goes to Jacob Hill. Traded from the Blue Jays. He has good stuff. First rounder. Former first round pick, right? I think top nine, top ten pick. Maybe ninth overall a few years back. Guy could be could be a good one. I think he's playing decently this season. Joe Crona is your red frame, seventy eight out of ninety nine. Gray frame. Yeah, he's doing well, right? That's what I, that's what I thought. Lee's like, hey, yeah, he's he's doing well in the majors too. And there you go. That was Diamond Kings. Ziggy saying, Joe and Jasmine T want to thank you for a sick hit from last fall even. Well, I appreciate it, Ziggy. Get a Tim Duncan out of six patch with a Spurs logo patch. No auto. Listed it last night. It's over a thousand. Wow. Nice. Well, hey, I, I want to thank you, Ziggy, for, for buying in. <laughs> we couldn't pull you that stuff if you don't buy in. All right. Uh, college college rules apply on this one, folks. Or uh, team they play for the longest rule apply. There's a lot of cut autos and stuff like that here. Um, and it's not always very clear as to what team they're supposed to go to. So, like, if, if, if some guy has his Cubs jersey on or whatever, obviously he's going to go to the Cubs. But if it's just a cut auto with no team association, we're going to go with the rule that says it'll go to the team he played for the longest. I think that's how we've been doing it. That makes sense. So just so you know. Uh, we will play the game show, though, because they try to start adds these nice little cards, these informational cards right here. All right. Yeah, this is going to be a – hopefully, we'll see. Um, he's a Hall of Famer. You guys can guess. You can play at home. Hall of Famer in 2000. He was inducted in 2000. He's a 13-time league leader in hit-by-pitch. Played in four decades. Gold glove, gold glover, and a three-time silver slugger. 1972 league leader in triples. The decades that he played in, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. 11-time All-Star. A 1972 AL Gold Glove catcher and three-time Silver Slugger, 11-time All-Star. 1972 AL Rookie of the Year. 1972 AL Rookie of the Year. And a catcher, three-time Silver Slugger. Played in four decades, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Tim Langston saying Johnny Bench. That's not a bad guess. But no. Others guessing Bench too. It's Carlton Fisk. And it's a cut auto. 
Carlton Fisk. So, I'm glad I explained those rules because that'll go to the team he played for the longest. Uh, we use BaseballReference.com for this one. Carlton Fisk. And he played for... It's got to be either the White Sox or the Red Sox. White Sox. He played for the Chicago White Sox for 13 seasons and for the Red Sox for 11 seasons. Very close. So this goes to the Chicago White Sox. That goes to Big Boys, 007. Where are my post-it notes? I don't know where they are. Well, it goes to the White Sox. Just played for them just a tad longer than the Bo Sox. So nice cut autograph there. Anything else in here? No. All right, next one. All right, there's the card. Again, you can play along at home. Um, okay, born in 1909, died in 1992. Born in 1909, died in 1992. A 10 time All Star. Known for his stellar defense and consistent batting. Holds the National League records for most putouts in a, in a season by a second baseman. Missed all of 44 and 45, fighting World War II. Hall of Fame in 1975. I think he only played for one team, if I remember correctly. Maybe not. Uh, he played for this one team far longer than anybody else. Okay. <laughs> TJ says Teddy Roosevelt. This is this one will be a little bit harder to guess. Rays fan saying Billy Herman. Did you look that up, Rays fan? It's Billy Herman for the Cubs. There you go. Signed index card. Billy Herman, nice. So there you go. Then that goes to Chicago Cubs. That'll be for Fins Up. He yeah, has Siri, yeah. No, Rays fan, remember? Rays fan was alive back then. All right, Rays fan? He was alive back then. All right. Let's do some randomizing. Now we got to see... Who's going to get the Steiner box? So let's go back to this list right here. Let's get everybody. Kurt, Diamondbacks, down to Davo and the Nationals. Let's put that in this blank list here. I know, you're 12. That was the joke, race fan. Um, rolling the dice. Okay, so the same dice roll for both of these, but I'm going to pick the box first. I'm going to pick the box first. Three and a one. Four times for the, for the box numbers and the names. I'm going to get the box first to hype things up. Three and a one. Four times. One, two, three, and four. Now, if box 17 is already, I think box 17 might have already been selected. If that's already been selected, we'll go down to the next box, box 14. So 17 or 14. We're running out of bottle. Let's see, we already did 17 and 14. What about 16 or 4? 16 or 4? We don't have 16, but we do have four. 
So there is four right there. All right. So now it's kind of a decent sized box. I don't know what could be a helmet maybe, but I thought this was a helmet box the last time, but it turned out to be an autographed basketball, Porzingis. Um, we'll see. Okay, so now we got the box. Three and a one, four times for the names. Name on top wins it. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. Name on top is Kurt. Kurt B after four times with box number four. That's some Illuminati stuff right there. All right. Let's, let's coffee it up. Let's see what we got here. Good luck, Kurt. Got the Steiner sticker right there. Kurt's happy. I try, Kurt. Thank you. All right, let's see what we got in here. It's it is a helmet. It's a signed speed replica helmet. Oh, Tim's going to get jealous. Kansas City Chiefs. Yes, sir, Tim. You got it. Tyreek Hill. The speedster. There you go, Kurt. And you've got the, uh, if you look at your corner camera right there, you got the Steiner authenticity card right there that says uh, Tyreek Hill signed Kansas City Chiefs speed replica helmet. So it's the full size. Looks pretty sleek. Well, Kurt, I don't know if you're a Kansas City Chiefs guy, but Tim definitely is. You, you might if, if you're looking to move it, you might find a, you might have a buyer already. All right, thank you so much, everybody. Congrats to Kurt. Thank you. There were some nice hits in the mixer itself. So this is this is a great deal. We have one more of these left in the store. JaspiesHobbyland.com. One more seven box baseball mixer. Great hits and a chance to get a big Steiner hit right there. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. This is Joe. We'll see you next time on JaspiesHobbyland.com.